Hello and welcome back to another Premier League video. This time I'm talking about match day 25. Uh, the games are going to be played on this weekend and also match day 7 games, two games that are gonna be uh, played now because they were postponed for one reason or another earlier in the season. And yeah, uh, all times are English times, UTC, uh, so yeah, local times. Uh, here are the standings. Arsenal lead the league with two point difference to Manchester City. And then uh, United is only three points behind uh, Manchester City, so they're trying to get into title race as well uh, with their recent great form. And yeah, uh, but Arsenal still leads the league with two point difference to City, and they have one game in hand also. And the teams that are not going to be playing uh, because there are only eight games uh, from match day 25 are Manchester United and Newcastle uh, because they play Carabao Cup final on Sunday. Uh, I've done video uh, preview about that already. And then uh, teams that were supposed to play against those teams. So Brentford and Brighton won't play also. Yeah, so uh, first game is going to be played on Friday. 8 p.m. Uh, Fulham faces uh, Wolverhampton. Uh, Wolverhampton, they've allowed 32 goals this season, whereas Fulham has allowed 30, so only two goals less. But what's interesting is uh, Fulham is sixth, whereas uh, Wolverhampton, well, as you can see, uh, well, they are 15, so yeah, that's not great for them. and. Uh, uh, it's interesting that Fulham has al only allowed two goals less, but they are so much higher up in the standings. So, yeah, the, uh, Fulham has been scoring well this season. Uh, it, it's basically what that means. So, yeah, uh, it's going to be an interesting game between these two teams. Let's see if Fulham could continue their good season and maybe Mitrovic could score again for Fulham. Uh, then, uh, Saturday games, uh, there are four games starting at 3 p.m. Uh, Everton and Aston Villa face each other at 3 p.m. Uh, uh, Everton this season they've allowed 30 goals, uh, whereas Aston Villa they have allowed 38. So yeah, um, I would expect, even though Everton have allowed 30, maybe Aston Villa could beat them. Uh, but yeah, uh, Aston Villa they have some good attacking players. Uh, Coutinho's this season hasn't been as good as uh, some might have thought, but yeah, uh, and Everton, there, Sean Dash, they have been up and down. Um, yeah, they're right now uh, out of the relegation zone, but yeah, as you can see here, they're not far above, uh, above the relegation zone. Uh, then, other 3 p.m. game, well, uh, one of the four. Uh, Leicester faces Arsenal, so league leaders in action here. Uh, Leicester, they've allowed 41 goals this season though, so they probably miss Kasper Schmeichel who moved to Nice uh, in the summer. Uh, whereas Arsenal, they allowed only 23 goals, so their defence has been solid this season as has been their attacking. And yeah, that's why they lead the league right now. And yeah. I would expect Arsenal to win this one, but Leicester probably won't uh, won't help them at all. So that's going to be an interesting game uh, to see. Maybe Leicester could steal some points of Arsenal and help City and United in the title race. Uh, then West Ham and Nottingham Forest face, face each other. Uh, West Ham 29 goals allowed this season, uh, whereas Nottingham Forest 38 goals allowed this season. So... Yeah, uh, that's why they probably got Kaylor Naus from PSG alone. Uh, partly because uh, they want the goals against uh, to drop. Uh, 38 is too much. And yeah, uh, well, at this point, uh, with Navas in goal, they got a draw against Manchester City. So yeah, and they're doing okay lately. So yeah, West Ham on the other hand. Only 29 goals allowed, but their season has been another disaster. And yeah, uh, let's see how they manage this match. Uh, they would need definitely to get points out of this. Probably three uh, would be better for them. Then the last 3 p.m. game, Leeds faces Southampton. Uh, Leeds this season allowed 39 goals, whereas the, uh, the rock bottom team of the league, 
Southampton, only one goal uh, more, so yeah, uh, 40, uh, but yeah, Leeds and Southampton 19-20 uh, team right now, so at bottom of the table matchup here, I don't know how many people are going to be watching this, but let me know if you are, uh, and yeah, um, I would expect that maybe Leeds could get something going, but Southampton did beat Chelsea last week, and so yeah, one of these teams, uh, the, or both of these teams would definitely want to win this uh, game because, well, they want to get out of the relegation zone uh, and without wins, uh, that's not going to be an easy one. Uh, then uh, there's going to be a 5.30 game, so half past five. Uh, Bournemouth faces Manchester City. Uh, Bournemouth 44 goals allowed this season. Whereas Manchester City uh, only 24 goals allowed, so uh, that's pretty good for Manchester City at their defense. Even though they have had some struggles this season, but yeah, uh, it's still pretty good that they still have uh, bar getting point deduction because of financial uh, problems. Uh, they still have a fair chance at title, and yeah, Bournemouth they're trying to get something going and improving goals against. Uh, per game could definitely help them and they could start here by stealing uh, City uh, City's points uh, I would expect City win to this one easily but uh, let's see if that happens uh, then uh, the late game at uh, on Saturday uh, is played between Crystal Palace and Liverpool Liverpool who just miserable game against uh, first like against Real Madrid 5-2 loss at Danfield and yet there I would expect Liverpool to bounce back uh, in this game uh, Palace have allowed 31 goals this year and Liverpool 3 goals less and yeah uh, Liverpool has allowed a little bit more than goal a game uh, this season uh, but uh, yeah 5 goals against Real Madrid that, that's not good uh, amount to allow goals in, in one game so yeah uh, I would expect Liverpool to do better in this one, definitely they probably want to show that they are not a bad team. Uh, then one Sunday game only and that's going to be early, it's going to be half past 1, uh, well p.m. 13.30, uh, uh, Spurs face Chelsea, so two London teams at it, uh, 35 goals allowed for Spurs, whereas 23 for Chelsea, but Chelsea's problem hasn't been the defense, but attacking they even though they got uh, Joao Felix and uh, Mitrick and uh, all sorts of, player, all sort of players, they don't seem to find a way to score, but yeah, let's see if they, uh, that could change in this match, but yeah, uh, I would expect that Chelsea, uh, maybe they could fight a draw here to London teams who know each other well and yeah, maybe that could inspire Chelsea to do better. Uh, Spurs, on the other hand, they want to be in top four this season. And this win, uh, if they were to win or even get a point, would help them massively. Then, two match day seven games. Arsenal faces Everton. Uh, both of these match day seven games are going to be on uh, on Wednesday. Uh, so, uh, 15 to uh, 8. So, yeah. Uh, 1945 Arsenal and Everton face each other as I said and Arsenal um, as I said with against Leicester playing uh, they have allowed 28 and interestingly as I uh, already mentioned Everton 30 goals allowed so yeah uh, I would think that Arsenal beats uh, Everton in this one but there's not much not many days between these matches so it's gonna be interesting to see what happens and yeah, it's interesting that Everton seasons has been, well, quite bad and Arsenal leading the league, but Everton has only allowed two goals uh, more. So yeah, it speaks that Everton has had trouble attacking wise uh, and also Anderson dies as well. So that's not uh, improved that much. And then 8pm uh, Liverpool faces Wolverhampton uh, or Wolves as uh, some might say and yeah uh, I would expect uh, Liverpool to win this one although maybe if they could 
pull off an, uh, well not an upset but if they could pull off a win uh, against Crystal Palace maybe um, maybe they come uh, up against Wolves and uh, feel comfortable and maybe Wolves could surprise them but yeah um, I don't know uh, how these games are gonna go uh, there are some interesting games like uh, Chelsea and uh, Spurs and others and yeah uh, let me know your thoughts about the, this match day 25 matches in the comments down below which ones are you gonna watch or are you gonna watch any and who you did who do you think is going to win these matches and yeah uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and hit the like and subscribe if you would so like and would like to see more football content and have a nice day